Good afternoon, I'm Tiro, and let's play... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boktai, the sun is in your hand. That's what I just said. And the difference being, we shall use actual sunlight. More on that later. Oh dear. Hmm. I'll have to edit this out. Maybe. Action, recommending. Alrighty. In a place not too far from here and now. Those are my lines. The end of the world approaches. How soon? The undead appear, breaking the natural cycle of life and death. Yeah, those return the tickets. Of species ceases. And one by one, they become extinct. Actually, extinction is part of evolution. Oh well. Ikastran, city of death. Uh, then again, those are my lines. Blah, blah, blah. Ah, uh, gratuitous Spanish. So I guess he's a Spanish Inquisitor? Eh, I didn't expect that. I thought you said it was an immortal. Yeah, I feel the exact same, Django. Or the Django? Ah, let's mosey on. Ooh, spooky. Except for the glaring sunlight. Okay, now I'm really freaked out because there shouldn't be fog at this time of day. Ooh, I wonder if it's the mist. <coughs> eh, watch. The pile drivers called Tayo. So is this the arena we're gonna do the pile driver? Ew. My name is Django. Okay, as soon as you show me the wrestling move, we can do it. Ah, I see. If you don't know, this is a Game Boy Advance game, and the gimmick for it is it has a little solar sensor that takes on UV radiation, and the amount of sun that hits it affects the gameplay. Uh, most people who, when they play this, they use a little hack that allows them to change and modify the level of sunlight, but it's not quite the same. Oh. For example, they can have 100% sunlight, but the game would appear as if it's in nighttime. But not in my case. As you might have seen in the prior video, uh, I have a real pile driver setup. Yes. Uh, blah blah blah, shoot stun. Attack from behind. Um, this is somewhat of an experiment because I'm bored, but then again, most of these videos are because I'm bored. But I haven't played this or beaten this yet. I've done maybe about the first couple of dungeons, and that's about it. Die, Spideys. Ah, bigger Spideys. In fact, I'm also playing six feet away with new prescriptions. Uh, probably won't help either. <laughs> but, hopefully... Well, Bowtie seems to be a very popular game because it's done by Kojima, who's the guy who did Metal Gear Solid. Um, I've never played the games, or his games, except so this will be my first, so I don't have a whole motif of how he does things, or what to expect. Also, like I said, there are... Because it's popular, there's many recordings, but as I said, this is probably going to be the first, or one of the few that actually utilizes proper game mechanics. Ah, and that's how much I care for you two. Yes, my very few viewers. Hey, I'm supposed to examine this. Pan on the wall, press A, blah blah blah, tip. Sadly, you will have to see that, because, as I said before, and repeating myself, a uh, new experience for my, this thingy. Alrighty, we can ignore that. Those are just generators so that we can uh, store sunlight 
or ambient sunlight in the game. So right now I have three bars. Right now as I'm playing, the solar generator is collecting all over the world. Yes, more weapons, yada yada. And hopefully I will not screw up because we're dealing with the Super Game Boy. Super Game Boy Advance. No. Game Boy Advance gameplay for the GameCube. Redundancy. Ooh. A book. Hence, book tie. Although I do dyslexic and get talk by. Blah blah blah. Why can't every game be like Capcom and where I push start and it skips all cutscenes in an action game? Doo -doo -doo. Also, supposing in this game you can go for different rankings. Uh, but I shall just try to beat it. Because I don't know the nuances to. Yeah. Go for those super special weapons. Or items. Da da da. Hmm. I should be actually doing more castle touring here. And here we have in the nice, you know, 19, 1820s Baroque style. 